Nicole, you know what, you, what else you could do besides knocking on your head? You can knock on paper because paper is a derivative of wood. Right? Ladies who vlog, drop verbal bombs, telling the world we up to something, sharing the love. Yeah, tell them who we are. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Superstitions. I have, well, my mom has a lot and it kind of grew on me, or they kind of grew on me. Um, some Vietnamese superstitions are uh, you can't gift cups and glasses, like drinking glasses to people, or mugs, anything you drink from because it sounds like, I don't know, it's a pun for like leaving, and so it's kind of like you're, you're leaving the friendship. So if I were to gift you a mug or something of that kind, nature, you're supposed to give me like a quarter or something, so it's not like I'm giving it to you, but you're buying it for me. Same with knives. I can't gift you knives. Um, I think that's not just Vietnamese culture, though. There's a lot of cultures because it symbolizes cutting a friendship, so if I were to give you a nice set of knives, you're supposed to give me back like a dollar or something. So it's like you bought them. Um, some weird Vietnamese ones, I've never heard of any other cultures having the same superstition, but um, if it usually happens for babies because they're little tiny creatures and they're like crawling around and they're lower to the ground than we are. But you're not supposed to put like anything that belongs on your legs, like your pants or your actual leg over the head of somebody. So if they're laying on the floor um, just watching TV or something, don't walk over their head because it would make them dumb. So this was a problem in Vietnam, I guess. I never lived in Vietnam, but they would hang their clothes and pants and stuff, and so they would eye that area um, because they don't want their kids to run underneath the laundry lines because it makes them dumb. Um, and same with um, anything you can't sit on or step on your books because it's just disrespectful and it kind of makes you dumb too because I don't know why. Don't know the logic. I think there's no logic in most superstitions anyway. Um, I knock on wood a lot. <clears throat> And I have a lot of Middle Eastern friends, and their superstitions kind of rubbed off on me, um, too. Um, there's, and there's a saying in, in Arabic, and it translates to God willing, and it means inshallah. I mean, it's inshallah, and it means God willing, and then um, thanking God, and that's mashallahs. <coughs> and you say those, and you knock on wood when, let's say, you are complimenting someone, and um, it's kind of like, jinxing them. So if you say a girl is really pretty, if you don't want to jinx her and turn her ugly because she gets in a car accident later or something, you say Marshallas, like thanks God, thanks to God, and then you knock on wood. And then same with um, your hopes and dreams. So if you say I hope to see you tomorrow, um, the Arabic saying is Inshallah, God willing, and you knock on wood, meaning you don't want to jinx yourself by saying I'll see you tomorrow and then you die. So... <laughs> I've inherited those superstitions too, and it's three minutes, so I should stop talking, but I can go on forever with the little superstitions that I've inherited from my surrounding loved ones. Um, okay, bye. Wait, one more. Uh, Alan, his only superstition is $50 bills. He thinks they're bad luck. It's weird. Him and all his friends can't stand $50 bills. It's weird, right? Okay, bye.